Hello guys and welcome to the CD Project Red headquarters here in Warsaw, Poland. Let's go check out the Gwen team. So guys, this is where the Gwen development team is located. Let's go bother them with some questions. Come on, come on. All right guys, I'm here with Kasia Radeshuk. Too fast for you, Duan. All right guys, I'm here with Kasia Radeshuk, the project director for Gwent. How does it feel to work on Gwent? It's exciting. It's scary, but really, really exciting. Every day there's new challenges, new stuff to do. So I'm hyped. I'm really hyped. Previously you were an art director for Gwent and now you're a project director. How different, aside from the big scope that you have right now, is, is, is the job, your day to day? I used to complain about art and now I complain about more stuff. So when it comes to this, not much changed, but as you mentioned, the scope is just much bigger. Uh, when it comes to leaks, because that's what we're here for, or we are here for that. Um, do you have any leaks for us? Anything? Absolutely no leaks. Today, uh, no leaks, and you should be very careful when recording around the studio because there's nothing I can officially allow you to record. Okay, seems fair. Um, moving back to Gwent, what's your favorite faction? Skellige. Why not Skoyatel? I've always been a fan of Skellige and always will be. Okay. Okay, I guess that answers our question. Let's move on to the next person. All right, guys, Pavko Gale reporting live from the CD Project Red studio. I'm with Jason Slama. Jason, hey how are you? I'm pretty good. Uh, what are you doing outside the card art? Uh, I, I, are the artists I, that good at drawing? No, I just, I, just, I just decided to leave the woods and I, and I came here and I saw this electronics and all these computers and I don't know what's That's up. That's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, did you I notice I ate all the squirrels already? What squirrels? Exactly. What happened to them? Delicious. Oh, God. All right, you work on something called LiveOps. What does LiveOps do? Yeah, so LiveOps is a new initiative we're doing where we're trying to gain some expertise and really focus on the online experience of players. So the metagame, events, try and give you guys something to do between those big meaty content drops. So like an example of what we've managed to do so far is faction challenges. And, uh, you know, we're new, we have limited resources developed to this. So you'll see that they're a bit uh, unpolished at first. But that's because we really want to be able to, for you guys to react to them, get your feedback, iterate on them before we spend too much time doing something that we might not like or that you might not like. So hopefully you guys have seen us working on that, trying to get it better. And as we get more comfortable, you'll start seeing polish going up on those kinds of features. Nice. What's your favorite faction and why is it Squirtel? It's definitely not Squirtel. It's, uh, it's monsters, actually. I like playing the horse. Uh, the Wow. Uh, Whisper and Hillock. Whisper and Hillock, yeah. I liked him from the actual Witcher 3 game. He's really interesting. I like that he's drinking that blood. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, and, you know, playing with Moonlight, because I think it's just a super fun mechanic, even if it's not the most it's not OP. OP, but still it's fun for you. Yeah, it's a challenge, yeah. All right. Cool. Thank you. Let's move on to the next person. Guys, I'm here with Brad Audie. Brad, you're a lead animator. What does a lead animator do? Uh, lead animator, I basically uh, give feedback and direction to the animation team and kind of work with other teams in the department as well. So that's VFX, modeling, designers sometimes. And uh, yeah, so I'm a big part of the premium cards, our NPCs on the map in Framebreaker, which maybe you've seen some of those. And yeah, it's a UI animation. That's what I'm doing at the moment, actually. Oh, UI animation. That's 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 small leak right there. Tell me, how long does it take to animate an uh, illustration? So bring it to life. As yeah, it yeah. Do? It's about a week for just animation. Up to a week depends on the card. And but from there, we need to go to VFX. We need to go to audio. And then there's a whole bunch of people who work on the cards before then. So it's a long process. It can be about three weeks. Mm -hmm. Why is Squirtle the best faction? Why is Squirtle the best faction? Um, we already talked about this. I played Squirtel since closed beta, and yeah, I've just always loved them. I, I love dwarves. Maybe I have some like kinship with the dwarves, exactly. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Thank you for the interview. All right. I'm here with Krzysztof Knesper, who is a QA coordinator. Hello, man. How are you? Hey, I'm fine. What does a QA coordinator do, and why do you always stay here so late at night? Well, that's a very tricky question. Uh, what I do basically is I make sure that all uh, required tests are uh, run and completed and that our game mm, is shipped in a polished, uh, polished version. Uh, why do I stay here so late every day? Well, uh, business never sleeps for QA. Uh, so there are always more checks you can do. There's always documentation to be updated or simply if you want to put yourself in player's perspective and play some rounds of Gwent to 
see how the game operates, how it all works out. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many builds do you go through like daily? If you could look at the whole team, you guys test builds and ship different builds and they go back and forth. How many builds do you think like overall? Well, that depends. Day? I don't need to think too much about it. Well, considering different build versions, uh, builds for uh, internal reviews, for different departments, um, I'd say oh, the most common purpose, uh, builds made with specific changes in order to verify that change. I'd say about 50 in the most heated parts of development. Um, of course, during the early stages of development, we test on uh, the game's editor and proceed to more, uh, more cooked uh, versions of the game as the development progresses. Interesting. What's your favorite faction coming back to Gwent overall? Well, it's Koyatel, obviously. Uh, That's a good I, choice. I, I really enjoyed uh, Jovet's story from uh, Witcher 2 and the overall theme of this bloody uh, rebellion. Um, it, it, it just fits well with me. I, I, I really liked this faction uh, when I st started playing Gwent and I just kind of stuck with it. Awesome. All right, thank you for the interview and we'll be moving on. Tell us your name and what you do. Uh, hey, I'm Mateusz Szymański. I'm a junior sound designer. What does a sound designer do in Gwent? Uh, various kinds of activities. My main role is to do the sound effects for cards. So whenever the card lands on the board and whenever it is played and the premium sounds. Recently you asked me to come over to grunt to your microphone, which was very weird, but is this something that you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Not on a daily basis, but sometimes we run out of the samples that we want to use and we do not want to reuse them as much as, as, as we could, but, but you know, uh, want to make something something more distinguished. Like in your, like in your case, in the case of your card with the Pafco, we wanted to have your voice there uh, because you are morally known to, to, to the people that play Gwent. <laughs> Okay, uh, speaking of Pafco, do you have a leak for us or maybe you can show us something? Yes, of course. Let's see it. Hmm. Looks totally like me. Yeah, definitely. And acts like you. Yeah, even that, the, the, the voice acting is on point. Why is he afraid of thunder though? I'm not sure. Ask the animation guys. <laughs> <laughs> Will do for sure. Guys, I'm here with Seb, aka Moonlight CDPR, if you know him on the interwebs. How are you, man? I'm okay, mate. Tell me, what do you do as a level designer, especially currently what you're working on? So currently I'm working on Thronebreaker. Um, so basically, yeah, I uh, basically help create the levels, um, place assets, the layout of the, uh, the environments, um, triggers, quests, kind of tying them in so they're actually functional, camera work, um, work with the VFX artists. There's kind of a lot of back and forward between all the different disciplines um, to kind of help shape the, the game and the, the progress the player makes throughout the game. So you're on the giant board card, how did that come about? So I wanted to be on a card for a while and uh, Kasher, our creative director, basically came up to me and went, hey, do you want to be on a card? I was like, hey, as long as it's Skelliger. Um, then yeah, sure. So yeah, I got uh, a bunch of piglets and a, and a boar, which is pretty cool. So we can tell that Skelliger is your favorite faction. Yeah, Skelliger's favorite faction lore-wise. Um, NR is uh, in-game, yeah, like the Northern Realms. What archetypes do you play? Uh, Machines is pretty fun. Um, Swarm NR is pretty fun. Cursed NR as well. Nice. All right. Lorenzo, hey guys. first question for you. You illustrated some of the most epic art in Gwent, including me. Well, that was the only real epic card that I did, right? <laughs> you heard it here first. Um, how does it work for an illustrator? You get an idea from someone, or do you start sketching some things and then propose your idea? What's the process behind it? Well, basically, it always works the same way. We start with a brief that uh, is provided by, Ma by Mateusz, our writer. And basically, it's just a small text that describes what is the character, uh, what does he do in the game. So usually it's just uh, characters that we already know from the game, but sometimes he comes up with brand new characters. And pretty much we just start by uh, sketching. Once we're done with the sketch, we just work on it like a few days and until we're done. Usually it, it lasts like four days, I would say. So four or five days, days. Four days to complete an illustration overall? Or a bit is more it sometimes. More sometimes. Yeah. Like Pafko, for example, probably. Oh, Pafko took, took me three ages. months, I think. Yeah, I remember we had to take photos and but stuff. But yeah. the thing is, for the premium, I think they are going to take one or, or, or two months. That's two why months. it's not on the game yet, because it, it's. It's a lot of work. Yeah. We have to capture the essence of what is Pafco and it's... It's 
very difficult. It's very tough. Do you have any leaks for us? That's the number one question that oh, I ask everyone. Well, uh, yeah, I have one leak here, so maybe we can zoom on this pretty face. Ooh, what's this guy's so name? This guy is from uh, Skellige. His name is Sigvald, and I think he pretty much looks like our uh, workspace when someone turns on the lights, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't seem too happy, though. And he yeah. looks tired. Yeah, exactly. Awesome stuff. All right, let's find Luigi now. Luigi, what are you doing? I'm working on a front breaker right now, as you can see. What are you doing on throw breaker, like specifically? Basically, I'm finalizing most of the systems so the programmers can start working on them, developing them, uh, and the artists can, you know, can, can start putting some assets in. Uh, for basically, this is what I'm doing now. I think I'll be done with locking all of the systems today. And after that, uh, I just need to review most of the stuff that guys are doing. So basically, review the mm, pacing of the map, review all of the uh, combat encounters, all of the quests, uh, the story and stuff like that. So recently you were promoted to lead designer. How does it feel to work? I mean, you've always worked with the guys, but how does it work to be their kind of boss in some way? I mean, yeah, basically it's, it's a bit of a weird change because my responsibilities did, didn't change. The only thing that changed is my time. Like I still need to do the same job, but I have much less time to do so because I have much uh, more meetings and stuff like that. Therefore, it's, it's, uh, it's hard to actually make up for that time, but we're managing and they are really capable. So uh, it's not like I have anything to worry about. Has your favorite faction ever changed? Because you always say you're Skellige, maybe Skoyatel now? Uh, no, I, I would still probably lean towards Skellige. I mean, since the addition of Pafko Gale, the faction got a lot better. Yeah, I know, I know. Probably if, if Skoya would have more dwarfs, then I would be more into oh, yeah, uh, Skoya. Or if they would al already have Gaborin, then, then I would, would lean more towards Skoya. But for now, it's still Skellige. When will we see Gabor come, come back? Probably soon. Oh, okay. Probably okay. soon. I like that answer. All right, heard it first. Gabor is coming soon. Now oh, that was a good day. We also have another song for you, so enjoy.
ritual.